Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing very quick unboxing of this uh, Lego LE2 and you might be wondering why am I doing the unboxing again because I have already done the unboxing uh, of this LE2 earlier. The thing is that uh, this is the review unit of the LE2 which was sent to me by the company itself but if you have seen my videos this uh, the review units have uh, some issues like screen flexing and in fact Ash from C4E Tech also had issues like that. So I was not very sure, I have completed my testing of this but I just couldn't uh, come to a verdict because I don't know if even the retail units have an issue like that. So I just purchased one from Flipkart, let me just open this up and we'll test if this one also has that screen flexing issue so it is a box within a box so let me move to the other camera angle and let's have a look at the same. Uh, so here is the box and uh, it's available uh, via their own store also and via flipkart i just purchased it from flipkart and uh, looks like i got this uh, what do you say uh, free headphones bundled with it uh, i saw on twitter some people uh, uh, didn't get that so it's like sort of weird they've just taped it as you can see and uh, this is nothing that special uh, these earphones uh, trust me guys, I uh, have already tested them and let me show you, uh, this is the uh, one, it's the same thing and the MRP is, uh, it was I think so 1900 or something like that. So these are the earphones that uh, they actually look uh, like Apple uh, earbuds but uh, they are USB type C and uh, they sound okay I would say but they were pretty uncomfortable and I just stopped using it after a couple of hours so that is what you get but silly that some people uh, who purchased from Flipkart they reported that they are just getting the handset not this one so just weird stuff and so this is the retail unit and uh, it just says LE2 I won't go into depth regarding that all of you guys know about the specs I'll just have the specs here on the screen so that you can have an idea about it. Again, if you want more info, you can watch my unboxing video that I posted earlier about the LE2. Also, another one more thing that I did notice with this LE2 was that uh, if you watch my unbox, uh, sorry, the gaming review for the LE2, my unit uh, did not heat up that much, uh, but it was throttling in some of the games uh, like, what do you say, uh, nova 3 which was not the case with ash's unit let's see what else accessories do you get some paperwork and stuff and the same the usb uh, c type cable and also we get an adapter for the headphones because uh, this one uh, does not have a headphone jack and the same part but so i won't open all this let's just quickly look uh, at the handset itself to see if this one also is having that screen uh, uh, what do you say flexing issues uh, like i had and i've already posted a video link for that video will be in the youtube show notes this is the review unit that was having the screen flexing issues and if you press uh, i don't know if the microphone can pick it up uh it's there let's see if that issue is there on this unit also and we have this uh, uh, tpu cover sort of a thing let's take that out so this is the unit itself me try to boot it up let's see if the branding is different no this one also says le tv at the back not the le eco or whatever so let's let me try to press the screen this one is not flexing that much guys yes as you can see if you press it a little bit <laughs> this is having a new issue as you can see the LCD display is uh, acting funny when you press. This does not happen on the review and if you press it, uh, it does not, the screen actually makes noise. Uh, that's not happening, but as you can see, if you just press it a little bit, uh, that's a long press. The LCD is getting depressed. So this is really bad quality, I would say. I don't like this. This does not happen with other handsets you can take any other handset it simply does not happen now to give you an idea again let me i'm just at the setup menu and again if you press a little bit hard as you can see the lcd 
this is really bad. And the surprising thing is that every unit is having some other issue or something like that. Uh, my review on it, it's not this bad, but when you press it, it actually flexes. And as you can see, it makes noise. But in this retail unit that you guys are also going to get, it's horrible. I don't know, where is the quality control? How can they approve something like this? I don't know. And uh, the strange thing is that this is the LE1S. And uh, ah, this one, as you can see, I'm trying to press. This one does not have that issue that much. So at least with the LE2, uh, we are seeing this issue and this is really bad as you can see uh, this is very bad on this retail unit it's even happening here at the bottom at least with my uh what do you say review unit this one it was only happening here at this area but with this retail unit it's almost everywhere this is this is really bad so simply speaking i simply cannot recommend this le2 if you watch my other videos yes the uh, performance of the device was decent but again if even the retail units are having issues like this uh, it uh, means that they are having very poor quality control and i'm not sure what type of unit you might get so again guys uh, that's it for now for this uh, unboxing and uh, quick look at this le2 retail uh, unit again i have posted other videos on the le2 if you want more info you can check them out again i'll have the link in the youtube show notes so guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video